Hello, my name is Victor Irving Jenkins, and yes, that's me on my desktop, which is not why I am contacting you. I'm contacting you because you are either a speaker or a coach or a business owner. And I want to share with you an idea that's really helped me out a lot. You probably have yourownname.com. If you do not own yourownname.com, then let me suggest to you that you buy yourownname.com. And when you buy your own name.com, you are going to learn something about the subdomains that's afforded you. What I'm doing here is I'm logging into my back office of where I bought my own domain. Um, what we are about to do is to create a subdomain. Now, you would probably have lead pages, lead capture pages, you probably have videos or URLs that you use from time to time, and well, those URLs sometimes can be hard to remember. Let's take a look at one just now. Let's click on editing this one. So as you can see, this domain is kind of yucky and certainly you can use the bit.ly's if you want to, but everyone knows what a bit.ly is and that won't encourage anybody, even people that you know, to click on your link. So here's what you do. Say for instance you have a YouTube channel or you have any other kind of channel. But you, what you want to do is you want to use a subdomain in order to make it easier for people to click on your link. So let's just say your name is James Brown, J-A-M-E-S. Let's say your let's say your name is James Brown. Let's say your name is James Brown. A M E S B R O W N. So now you have a website called James Brown. And in here, you put the URL of whatever the capture page is or whatever page you want to put this subdomain to transfer to. And you put it right in here. And when you finish, you click add. And then you would have a subdomain like this. You see for instance, this subdomain here is called coaches training dot crave the spotlight dot com. This subdomain is called Joe Gray Speaker dot crave the spotlight dot com. This one is called John Pyron Webinar dot crave the spot. You get the idea? Now and if you don't want to use it anymore when you get tired of it then you simply come over here and you get rid of it like that. Got rid of that one because I'm not using these anymore. I'm not using playlists anymore. Get rid of that one. And well, we'll just take a moment to show you what one of these looks like. Say for instance, speakers dot the spotlight.com. We're going to show you this one. Let's save this. And they've gone away. And let's take a look at one of those subdomains. It's called speakers dot Crave the spotlight. That's a comma. Speakers dot crave the spotlight. Dot com. Now I had this a long time ago, and I haven't used it in probably two years. But let's see what it does. And guess what? It's still alive. It is still an active domain. So it's speakers.cravethespotlight.com. And actually what this is, this is a playlist that I created some time ago. And it has a lot of videos on it. But suffice it to say that if you do not own your name.com, you want to own your name.com. And just to show you what happens when you type in my name. VictorIrvingJenkins.com. That's what happens at VictorIrvingJenkins.com. And if I were to create a subdomain, the subdomain would be uh, whatever I wanted it to be. VictorIrvingJenkins.com. So I hope this has helped you. I hope you embrace the idea of actually creating your own yourname.com and a subdomain.com.
thank you very much for taking the time to do this and this is going to change your business this is going to make it easier for people to click onto your link if you need any help with getting this done and you already have your domain please by all means give me a call at 916-230-9555 this is victor irving jenkins reminding you to have a good time